Anti-GOP graffiti remains in red spray paint on the sides of two homes in Zionville, Pennsylvania, outside of Philadelphia, aimed towards Senator Pat Toomey, who is vying for re-election in one of the most heated races in the state. Now, this act of hate is literally across the street from where Pat Toomey lives, and emblazoned on one home is Look Out Toomey and you neo-Nazi Republicans. On the other home, it has Nazi, slavers, rapists, cross worshipers equals GOP. I spoke with Steve Fogel, who lives in that house. Pennsylvania State Police are investigating. Fogel believes this act of vandalism speaks to all the animosity and hatred we've seen on a national level with the presidential election. I think it's a reflection of this political season, which has really been kind of no holds barred. Uh, and I think that this kind of behavior is probably just a result of, of what we're seeing at the top of the political game, that it's just giving people the feeling that they can do anything. Senator Pat Toomey released a statement that reads, I am sickened by this disgusting, politically inspired hatred. It has no place in a civilized society. Even his opponent, Democrat Katie McGinty, has called this act of vandalism unacceptable. Vogel says he continues to support his neighbor despite this blatant attack. Toomey's are great neighbors, actually. <clears throat> They're nice people, good family people. They're supportive of his, his neighbors, and uh, I don't feel any different difference towards them at all. Now, Vogel says he will have to probably replace the entire siding of his home, and at this point, he's not sure how much that will cost him. This senator brought it on himself. Why can't he just clearly tell his constituents I would vote for Trump or I won't vote for Trump. This is not the time to be shy about this. I can't imagine this politician is shy. This well, is a historic, unprecedented, silly election, and he I should am. just take a stand. I find this whole thing ridiculous, especially I because am. it's focused on Pat Toomey, who <laughs> has distanced himself as far away from Donald Trump as you possibly could as a Republican. First of all, the guy across the street doesn't deserve to have his house vandalized. And second of all, this is like the rantings of a madman. Thanks. Oranges. We're good.